tonight entrusted with upholding the law, but dozens of current and former CHP officers accused of ripping off taxpayers in an overtime scandal. Now, they worked at the East LA station and the charges go back years. Tonight, KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite has the details. The allegations are pretty stunning, and if they are true, these officers could be in a lot of trouble, perhaps even facing jail time. At the CHP, an alleged massive fraud scheme. Officers accused of milking the clock and stealing hundreds of hours of overtime. According to the state attorney general, the charges include 54 current and former officers, 302 theft and fraud charges, $226,000 in total fraud. Loyola Law Professor Jessica Levinson. I think for the public, it always feels like a gut punch when those who are supposed to protect them and those who earn their money on the public dime allegedly violate that. The attorney general's office says the investigation was launched in May 2018. They say during that period, multiple officers in the East L.A. station were suspected of recording additional hours of overtime when they were assigned to provide protection detail for Caltrans workers through a maintenance zone. On the one hand, the fact that the investigations have been done and the charges have been brought indicates that they're, this is being taken seriously. And on the other hand, the fact that the charges are this broad, that it's more than just one or two people, indicates that there was potentially a systemic problem and frankly a systemic problem of corruption. Two of the defendants in this case were also charged with conspiracy and bribery for allegedly taking money to falsify documents to register exotic cars. We could be talking about serious sentences and particularly when we're looking at aggravating factors like the fact that again we're dealing with abuse of the public trust. The CHP released a statement saying that they actually uncovered this alleged fraud in their own investigation. They also said that the current officers allegedly involved are on administrative leave. In downtown LA, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.